What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Coop in the Coop, and today I got another multiverses video for you guys, and it's going to be a little different. We're going to be dropping my 1v1 multiverses tier list. Now, some of y'all going to look at this tier list, you're going to be like, bro, you don't know what you're talking about, blah, blah, blah. This is all my opinion, okay? All right, but first, we're going to start off with Garnet. In my opinion, Garnet is a really underdeveloped character compared to the rest of the cast. Uh, she's a bruiser class, uh, but she's literally slower than a lot of the other bruisers. She just feels like a tank almost. Um, her moveset isn't really that catered to her speed either. Um, I feel like she has a very slow move set. It's very predictable. Something that anybody on any character shouldn't have an issue with. I don't think there's any character on this roster that has an issue with Garnet. But uh, yeah. Next, uh, I think I'm going to put Iron Giant in B tier for 1v1s. Uh, Iron Giant's really, really good in 2v2s. Probably like one of the best 2v2 characters to pair with like Velma or Tom and Jerry, like for range. But in 1v1s, he's literally combo meat. Like, I never lost to an Iron Giant in a 1v1. I think if I did, it was probably one time in on the Scooby Doo Mansion map. But he's just not good in 1v1s. Uh, next, I have Taz. Taz, I feel, has a lot of potential that was sealed away in his recent nerf, but he's still a decent character, in my opinion. He just doesn't perform as well as he used to. Um, he's he's really good against Batman, which is uh, weird. Uh, he's really good against a lot of the zony characters because he can kind of pretty much eat their projectiles, but it's hard to do that the entire time, and his normals are pretty small compared to the rest of the cast, so I got to put him in B tier. Next, we're going to put in Rain Dog. Now, I honestly could put Rain Dog in A tier, and here's why. Rain Dog has the craziest down air. He has a really good up air. The only thing I hate about Rain Dog is his recovery. His up special is like non-existent to get back to the stage. Like you got to use his side special to get back to the stage, and that just puts you at a lot of a disadvantage when a lot of the people who come down and spike you off stage are gonna be hitting your side air. So we gotta gotta kind of find a different way to play him off stage. But other than that, his zoning and everything else he has is really strong. Uh, Steven, I could put an A tier as well. His combo game is really good. His nor his uh, normals and neutral is really bad in my opinion. Like he gets stuffed out by a lot of the sword characters and uh, a lot of the characters that just outright have better normals. But his uh, shield placements and his combos can really rack up a lot of damage if you're not aware. Uh, his bubble state is also kind of whiffy. Uh, it's okay in twos, but we're talking about 1v1s here, so he's going to have to go in B tier. LeBron James is a threat that I feel has not yet been like realized. Like I feel like people have not yet brought out the full potential of LeBron, but I feel like if you look at him and play him in the lab and even play him online, he's really good against some of the cast. Like, he has really good normals. He has really good kill potential. Uh, he's a really solid character. Uh, next, in A tier, I'm going to put Wonder Woman. Uh, now, Wonder Woman is probably at the front of A tier. Uh, I made this video uh, yesterday, but I feel now that Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman is uh, at the front of A tier. Sandstorm and the cat in coin box and Evo showed us that Wonder Woman is a threat. Like she's really strong in 1v1s. She's just a little bit slower than most of the other casts. She doesn't really kill early. She has really strong off stage though to get gimps. So that's what I think Wonder Woman is really good at. Her's uh, neutral and her off stage. Uh, Shaggy is a really strong character. Um, 1v1s and 2v2s. 1v1s. He pretty much puts out a lot of combo damage, so he can rack up like 40% combos really easily. He can kill early with his Super Saiyan um, little ability. His uh, side special, which is the little kick, look the dynamic entry from uh, Naruto, <laughs> uh, Guy Sensei pretty much. He pretty much kills so early with that move. His uppercut on his up special is really good. All of his moves are really good. His normals... Um, and neutral can get beat out by a lot of the other characters, but other than that, he's really strong. Superman, super armor, super armor, super armor, grab, you're dead. Like, this character is strong, is I don't know what. Like, his combos aren't really devastating, but his neutral is freaking. His neutral is domination, pretty much. He just owns the neutral, kills early. Like, what do you have to. What else can you say about Superman? Arya Stark, um, 
really combo oriented she has a lot of good damage output and kills at the top of the ceiling a lot with her dagger but i feel like she's just really squishy and she just takes a lot of effort to really uh, uh get the best out of now if i'm gonna rearrange i want to rearrange these guys a little bit i will put wonder woman in front of superman or like right behind superman in a tier but other than that i would leave it as uh the same now let's get on to jake jake is so slept on this man's forward air is literally so good I don't even know how to explain it. His down air, so good. He can combo it and make like 40% combos with just one move. His bouncy house deflects pro projectiles. He uh, he has little recovery on literally every move. Like he can throw a move out and dodge right after so fast. Like this character is busted and no one really knows it yet. Uh, his normals aren't super oppressive, but that forward air, bro. That four air is ridiculous. And his recovery with the stretch, like, dude, he has a lot of options. Velma busted. Too much damage. Police car. She calling the cops. I think she got some against me. I think she got some against me, bro. Velma is OD in this game. Like, her normals have little startup on them, especially the light up, the light bulb. Uh, my bad. That has, like, so much. It has, like, little startup that it almost hits every time. Uh, in exchanges when people are in the air um, next we got Harley Harley is really good um, combo wise she doesn't kill early however and she's really frail but her combos are devastating her neutral is devastating her down air is so oppressive uh, her up special is really good she's really good solid kit her mallet in the air is really good just a solid character honestly i don't feel like she's really needs to be nerfed or buffed uh finn nerf this character to the ground nerf it now <laughs> like seriously finn is wouldn't even be that bad if his hitboxes weren't obnoxiously out of whack like his hitboxes are literally like you can't even predict them like they're just different every game his hitbox on his up special with the backpack broken his down air broken his grounded normals are all broken you can run around with them and just hit people like they're anti-airs like his ground normals are anti-airs every single one of them like how is this character not fixed yet i'm just playing but fix this character like before the season one starts next i'm gonna talk about batman batman if he gets one nerf to his battering, I feel like he's in A plus tier. But his battering right now is so good. The fact that it can go behind you, come back and hit you, he doesn't have to even aim it. It just aims for him. For him. Uh, it's pretty busted. And he gets weakened statuses off that. He hits you two times, jab, jab, uppercut, and you're literally low. Like, you're literally fighting for your life after, like, three moves. Bugs Bunny, my main man. I gotta throw him up here in S tier, even though I love him. His up air is uh, really obnoxiously busted. Uh, I think they nerf it a little bit, and he'll be good. Uh, his double rocket glitch is still in the game. They need to remove that. His safe is really good for mix-ups. His pies are really good for mix-ups. Like, you can do a lot with this character. His tunnel, you can just escape, you know, kite away from your opponent. Just a really good character. Tom and Jerry topping off this list is, bro, this character has so many zoning tools. His normals are literally broken. His down air, strong. His up air, strong. His normals on the ground, fat hitboxes. Like, Void showed us that this character at Coinbox and Evo is a menace to society and a menace to multiverse. 